welcome back to our vlog channel, the beginning of our vlog channel, or beginning of our vlog. Um, you guys probably get the title when I wonder if it's click, clickbait. Are they really going natural? Uh, no, this is not clickbait, and no, we're not going natural. However, we are thinking, well, actually, we are going to skip out on a relaxer this year. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get a relaxer this year, and that's because we are going to try out straightening treatments. It's something I've always wanted to do. Um, our well, hair. Yeah, go ahead. Um, like, we've been getting relaxers. We only get relaxers once a year, so it's not like anything groundbreaking or dramatic and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, um, I just want to see how my hair responds if I don't get a relaxer this year. However, I still want my hair. I still want my hair straight. I don't want my hair natural. Obviously, I'm not going natural. I want my mm -hmm. hair straight. Hence why I'm going to try the straightening treatments. So yeah, so her answer basically saying how we only get our hair relaxed once a year is kind of the reason why we're trying to get to keratin treatments because keratin treatments are going to go ahead and strengthen your hair. Because we relax, we stretch our relaxers for so long. I mean, yeah, stretching is a good thing, but at the same time, you're stretching it and your textures are, mm -hmm. especially the new texture coming in, the new growth coming in, it's stronger, but the rest of your hair is getting weaker and stuff. So you want that keratin treatment works really well to really build those bonds and make your hair strong, like all the way down from the root all the way to the end. So mm -hmm. that's what keratin does. Yeah, and I was like, well, is there a way that we can and we have hair straight? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. we have this new growth, and then we have this texture here. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I wonder if there's a way to get our hair straight without, without chemicals, doing, without the well, without major the, chemicals, yeah, like the relaxing chemicals because. Keratin treatments do have chemicals in it. The ones that we honestly, I was thinking about doing a Japanese straightening treatment, but that one but, is but, not but, safe at all. So that these one, keratin treatments, okay, keratin treatments. If you guys think about them, like they released this gas called formaldehyde, and that's why everybody's kind of iffy about them. Like Japanese street, <coughs> Japanese treatments are kind of like that and everything. But keratin treatments today, because you know with the evolution of hair care and everybody's just like studying stuff and just coming up with stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, keratin treatments. There are some that don't release formaldehyde. No, you don't need formaldehyde yeah. to get good results. Like exactly. Now, yeah. formaldehyde can give you like really straight mm -hmm. hair, I mean, but you can get those results without it. Yeah. So that's the ones we're going to try. Yeah. We're not going to do anything that releases formaldehyde yeah, um, or Japanese. Because I was, honestly, I was considering Japanese straightening, but then I looked at it, I was like, Japanese mm -hmm. straightening is kind of like the same as relaxing. Well, it's it's break, like the same thing yeah, as relaxing. Yeah, relaxes break the bonds and then um, Japanese straightening. Uh, Japanese treatments kind of loosen the bonds of the hair, um, but they both, you don't get your curls, like they're, it's like a semi-permanent option. Mm -hmm. and that's too risky for me, I wasn't about to try all that, plus it's hella expensive. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay, another treatment is a keratin, we're gonna try the, we're gonna do the Mona Luce one, as you all know, we're very, very comfortable, and Mona Luce works very well with our hair, they do have a keratin treatment um, system, so that's what we're gonna try. And yeah, we're, yeah really and the one thing that this kind of differentiates Mono Luce keratin treatments from other keratin treatments, Mono Luce uses a green system. Mm -hmm. So when I say green, it's they use natural botanical uh, products or whatever, or just <coughs> natural oils. They keep it earthy, pretty mm -hmm. much. So nothing is damaging. Um, a lot of their stuff, they uh, it's like I kind of read, it's like some kind of crystal shield. Yeah, that it's created. That. Yeah, and that's what keeps your hair like really straight and mm -hmm. frizz free and everything. And they call it this crystal shield. I think they have quotes on the side too. Yeah, we're not naive to think that everything that says is natural is natural. Mm -hmm. However, overall, they use their that's what they're going for. So obviously, mm -hmm. it's safer than a relaxer and everything. And so, um, yeah, like she said, they use the the green system. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that one. And um, that's not to say that we're not going to go back to our relaxers. We're not anti-relaxers now. Anti everything is like yeah, yeah, everything we're we're relaxers is true. Like everything that we believe about relaxers, we still believe. Um, who's to say we can't get a relaxer and a keratin treatment? Because keratin, keratin treatments and relaxers are not the same. Mm -hmm. Keratin treatments coat the hair. Um, relaxers change the bonds of the hair. So um, you can still get a relaxer and a keratin treatment, not at the same time. But we kind of want to see, other. like, we're already stretching anyway. Mm -hmm. You guys haven't seen a relaxer in your hair since last year. Mm -hmm. So, and that's usually how it goes. So, why so not we're go longer. So, why not go longer? But at the same time, we don't want to be damaging our hair while doing that. Because when we stretch our hair, it's just, like I said, stretching is great, but at the same time, stretching is like a pro and a con at the same time. So, we don't want to damage it. We don't want it to break off because, you know, the straight pieces are just conflicting with the new growth mm -hmm. and all that stuff and everything because that's usually what's going to end up happening if you don't relax your hair at all. So while we're stretching, we're like, well, let's try this keratin treatment mm -hmm. and we'll see how it goes. I mean, 
we could stretch it longer. And who knows? I don't know. I don't know how to, how our hair is going to react yeah, with just like, the keratin and then no relaxer. So we could do both or we could just kind of keep the relaxer away for a bit. Yeah, and with the keratin treatment, we'll still have our curls. So just be a little bit looser. Our hair mm -hmm. be more manageable as far as like cutting down wash times, which should be interesting. So I might even try it. I might even test that out and see how our actual, like our natural curls will be. But they will be a little bit looser. They're still going to be there. We'll still be able to do our twist out and braid out. So well, yeah, it cuts down on ma manipulation exactly. time too. Yeah. So um, I'm excited to try it. Because um, even with the um, Mona Lisa Keratin products now, like my hair is just like, yeah. like I respond so well to it. It's just like I can manage it easily. So right, like, and so can you imagine with the keratin and mm -hmm. everything? So they're actual keratin treatments. So that's why I'm kind of excited about that because I'm not going to just pick any keratin treatment. Mm -hmm. Lisa was the one that recommended it to us and then she kind of introduced us already to with the brand on our mm -hmm. hair so I mean we're already comfortable with it so doing our research and stuff so we're like okay keratin sounds good I mean we're just gonna keep it as natural as possible as far as like the ingredients and everything we're not gonna try anything with formaldehyde or just anything that's popular or popping at yeah. the moment um, so Mona Lucia I, I read up on them and I'm, I feel pretty good about them. Yeah Brazilian, no, uh, oh, Brazilian below I was term for a keratin but keratin mm -hmm. treatments have come a long way like Emily said yeah so now like you can't even get them without the formaldehyde yeah because remember they used to do those things yeah and they put masks I see women in the salon back when I was living in New York they put masks on their face well, that's why they got a bad happening? rim yeah exactly that's why I'm not doing that no like you should do it no but here we are putting relaxes in our hair yeah, yeah I know we're just like <laughs> but we do it once a, once a year yeah but, but we're, we're, we're just a different breed because we only do this relaxing thing yeah. here so it's just hard to have a conversation with that and stuff because mm -hmm. nobody stretches like us. <laughs> I mean, very few people stretch like us. So, um, so that's where we're at with our hair mm -hmm. and what we're gonna do next. So, um, yeah, that's why we haven't relaxed in a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna relax here. And then we're just exploring other options. Yeah, so well. we're not gonna relax this year. So y'all you know, don't be sad. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, who's to say we won't relax? You know, at the end of the year or not, or maybe the beginning of next year, 2020. So. We'll see. The good news is we're going to take you guys along when we get that mm -hmm. keratin treatment. So you can just see what Moon Lucci is all about. The different steps in the keratin treatment on how to achieve mm -hmm. those results and everything. So yeah, and I have links below on the mm -hmm. um, differences between like the relaxers. So you can get more you know, research on what a keratin treatment is. And I'll also have a link below on the Mona Lucci keratin system so you guys can read up on that too. So uh, yeah, that's what we are. That's what we're doing. <laughs> no more relaxation. <laughs> Oh, oh so yeah. yeah, comment below if you guys got, if you have a character treatment or you know somebody that has had a character treatment, um, any horror stories, or maybe I don't want to know any horror stories. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I, I have faith in Lisa and I have faith yeah. in Luce brand, so I'm not worried about it at all. And that's why my hair withstands anything. So. I know, right? I know. <laughs> Goodness. And if this 12, 13 months, I don't even know what... It's April. Yeah. I, think, I don't know when. I think I got my relaxer in February of last year. So we're just going to continue with it, but we're just yeah. going to use a different option to flatten out this new growth here. Mm -hmm. Because right now it's straight, but y'all, ooh, I know when it comes time for wash day and like, like the new, the, um, I got, it's easy to tangling down here, but once you get up here, yeah. it's, it's like, like oh god. <laughs> so yeah, so that should be fun, and you guys get to see it. It's a lot safer as well. So I mean, um, all in all, it's kind of like a win-win anyway. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, we're sad. We're not sad. Oh, we're yeah, we're not really sad. excited. If we're still getting like relaxed hair tips, obviously we know we have relaxed hair. We yeah. have relaxed Our hair. hair is relaxed. We are not natural. Like, I mean, honestly, if you if we were natural, we would have to chop off you know, mm -hmm. our relaxed ends. So, I mean, we're just using a treatment right now in place of the relaxer, but we are not natural. Yeah, and your texture still grows back. You just have to get the care of the treatment every. It just lasts longer. So mm -hmm. I say sometimes every. Four to six months? I don't know. We'll see how this brand uh, works well with our hair. But um, yeah, and that's perfect because yeah. relaxers, it's like, oh yeah, every six to eight weeks, which we never went by, mm -hmm. obviously. But yeah, so I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I really am. So, yeah, comment below your thoughts and everything. We'd love to hear them. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing. And we're, I'm going to do it in, like, at the beginning of May. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, probably the beginning mid May or something. Yeah, mine's probably, be, I don't know how my hair is going to be at the end of April. Yeah, probably the beginning of May. <laughs> so yeah, for today, we're going to a 90s party. So we're gonna take y'all with us for that. You guys can see our 90s outfits. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, honestly, it's a lot easier to dress for 90s because it, the 90s is. are like, you know, I the, love 90s. the outfit. I guess the 90s inspiration is seen in a lot of mm -hmm. fashion right now. So yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, our coworker is having a um, a birthday party, a surprise birthday party, and it's gonna be like 90s theme. I love theme parties, so I'm really excited. I got my little neon outfit, so y'all know I went all out with the neon. Oh yeah, so, and I have my my plaid mini skirt. Y'all get to see it in the clueless vibes. Yeah. So we're just gonna get ready for that real quick, and yeah, I'm gonna take y'all to the party. Hey. Hey guys, it's me, Ebony, here on a Tuesday morning, bright and early. I'm out here uh, about to get my hair done. I need a deep condition, so Lisa's gonna do that for me now. And um, yeah, I think the last time I got my hair done was the Japanese head spa, and that was a little over a month ago, so I stretched it to as long as it could go, <laughs> as far as the wash. I do have new growth coming in. You guys are probably wondering, why in the world are you not... Um, Getting a relaxer. We are. We have to talk about that in just a second. But I don't know if Erica's gonna already have that clip before this one or after this one. But either way, some, at some point in this vlog, you're gonna see a little chit chat session with you guys about um, our relaxer and everything and what we're gonna do going forward. So anyway, the task at hand is to just get this taken care of. So I'm gonna go in now. I'm a little early. Uh, about five minutes early, but I'm just gonna go in now and um, say hi to her because I haven't seen her in a while and I missed her. So yeah, let's go. All right, hair did. Oh, I missed her so much. Well, yeah, she did an amazing job. It uh yeah, it grew as you guys can see. Uh, she was surprised too. Like I said, she hadn't seen me in a while because I went to the Japanese head spa and she's like, she said my hair looked pretty good. It was in pretty good shape, so. Lisa says it, I'm doing something right, and she is too. All right guys, it's many hours later, and we're headed to the 90s party. You can probably only see my neon outfit. I'm on, the light from my phone is what's lighting this up because we're walking down this steep hill. It's very dark. So hopefully I don't fall. There's Ebony in the back, I don't know if you can see her. But yeah, once we get inside, hopefully there'll be more light. <laughs> oh God. Let's do a quick outfit of the day. I'm my last skirt from Shein. She's a, I forgot what they were from. I don't know if y'all can hear her, but she said her skirt was from Shein. She's got the boots and the turtleneck. Can you get me real quick? This is my neon jacket from Forever 21 and my micro shorts from Forever 21. Yeah, it's cold up here.